hello everyone so today we are back again with a new video of ms access so in this video today we will learn few more features of ms access so to start with the new features of ms access we will work on on uh, already created database that was created in the last video so let us open it we'll double click double click the name of the table this was the table that we have created now in this table we will be learning three things first one search second short third one total so to search means find from the table i can find out any value or any word so to find out that particular word or that particular number we will have to click here in the search option i can type any value say 98 so as soon as i typed 98 my 98 value from the table is highlighted next if i want any letter or any word from the table i can type the name and that word will be highlighted this is how we are finding out values from the table very easily next feature we will talk about today is short so what is short short means arranging particular values in different orders different orders means in ascending or descending order now what is ascending and descending order descending ascending order means arranging the values from the lowest number to its highest number and descending number means to arrange something from a highest number to its lower one so we can arrange both numbers and characters in ascending and descending order so let us first arrange address column also remember one thing we cannot arrange the entire table all at once we have to arrange column wise column by column so let us first consider the address column so to arrange the address column in ascending or descending order the first thing that we have to do is we have to select the column how do we select the column so first i have to move the cursor over the name of the column so as soon as i move my cursor over the name of the column my cursor changes to a black arrow after it changes to the black arrow i have to single click it this is surrounded by a yellow border now now this yellow border means this particular column is selected and whatever operations we do all the operations will be applied to this particular column now so how to arrange this in ascending or descending order let us see we will move to short and filter group from short and filter group there are two options ascending order and descending order so let us select ascending order so as soon as i clicked on ascending order you can see it is arranged it is b c d and d it is arranged in a lowest to the highest character if i want to remove this i have to click on the last option that is clear all shots that means i will remove whatever order i had apply, applied to this particular column that the order will be removed so here i'm back to the original state again so if i have to arrange in descending order i will click on the next option so here one thing we have to notice is we had arranged this particular column but along with this particular column all the other values are reshuffled if you have noticed why the other values are reshuffled because along with this bangalore this this and the marks are interrelated that means roll number 2 name is sunila address and marks 78 
so if bangalore comes in the fourth position then roll number name and marks also should be present in the fourth position so along with this particular column all the values will be shuffled out next if i have to remove the order we'll click on the last one so there is one more feature of shorten filter group that is filter group now what is filter now filter group means to filter out filter out means not displaying everything so till now we were displaying all the values of the table so after using filter we can display only the values that we want so let us work with the number column number values now so let us select marks and move to the clear oh sorry to the filter group from the filter group number filter options is there and when i place the mouse a small window pops up from this window we have several options let us try the first one equals when i type equals here i can type any value say 67 and i type okay see only 67 is displayed because i was in need of only 67 and the row which contained 67 is displayed and all others are eliminated now how to go back to the previous state to go back to the previous state i'll click on toggle filter so this will remove the selection and it will move back to the previous state so similarly if i have to work with other options i'll select on marks column filter number filters and there are many different options so not equal to does not equal to means the number which is not equal to the number that you specify will be eliminated and others will be displayed less than and greater than means all if you select less than the numbers less than that number will be displayed greater than the number more than that number will be displayed let us select between so in between what we do is we have to give a range smallest and largest let us give two numbers 60 and say 80 so 60 and 80 means all the values which are present in between 60 to 80 will be displayed and rest will be eliminated okay see only the numbers which are in between 60 to 80 are displayed and rest are eliminated so i'll again remove the filter so i'm back to the previous table the last feature today we will learn is total so i can click the total from the record group as soon as i click total now total means to find out the sum of numbers since sum of numbers i'll click on the column below all the numbers so as soon as i click here i'll get a combo box so from this combo box i can select the different functions that i wish to do so sum if i click on sum the total number will be displayed that means the addition of all these numbers will be displayed if i select average then the average number will be displayed count how many values are there one two three four so four values are there hence four is displayed next minimum maximum standard deviation variation all these you can try it by yourself so i hope i made myself very clear with the three options do practice and we'll wait for the next video so till then thank you and have a nice day